for Italian football. It's one of the real dates in the diary. The conclusion of the Coppa Nazionale, the Italian Domestic Cup. And it's got to be played out to a finish here, incidentally. Alan Smith alongside me. Yeah, can't wait. It's a relatively new experience for me, this one. I've had some fantastic cup finals going down the years, and I don't think this will be much different. And today's match, Inter against Roma. Good power in that punch away by the goalkeeper. A cup final lead here. Well, with the noses in front, can they hold on? That goal was a great moment for Inter. Well, you've got to ask questions for the defence because they just didn't follow in there. But well, let's take another look at the goal. So that's Inter now in the lead. Javier Pastore. Federico Fazio. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Oh, he's through. He's in at goal. Icardi! And that counts for Inter. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. was a good goal, and it came at a crucial time, I think, for his side. A little captain's input there. Restarting at 2-0. Florenzi. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. shot off now and the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one Asamoah Vecino how are they going to build from here into now they've got it out wide Nangolan Nangolan wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range Inter have a corner here. Played in by Kandreva. Only surely he's blocked the shot well. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Javier Pastore. Brozovic. Perisic. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. And he can clear it here. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. The pass threaded through. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Perisic, Vecino. Attacking now. El Sharawi. Daniele De Rossi. Kolorov. It's with De Rossi. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. And stop the opposition. Gets the ball out of harm's way. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Now Strootman. Kolorov. Roma couldn't keep it. Andreva. Thank God! Strange, really, from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard. Yeah, that's not like him at all. Don't know why he tried to finish like that. Here's Icardi. Raja Nine Golan. Andreva. Good defensive clearance there. That will mean a corner for Inter. He's put in the corner. Icardi! And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Javier Pastore. And the defender tidies that up. Probing the pass. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. 
It's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Florenzi. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Asamoah has to keep possession now. And they're trying to dispossess him. Well, that is half-time. And... So the trophy on display here, Alan, the second half of this Coppa Nazionale final is going to tell us who's going to grab it. Yeah, some of the players touching it on the way out at the start, and uh, that's how close they are now. Florenzi. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. El Sharawi! Tried to get the right contact there, but couldn't quite manage it. Yeah, he's ended up looking a little bit silly, but uh, if you don't try those things, you're never going to succeed, are you? I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? That was a good first 45 minutes. Some of the runs he made were really impressive, and a goal led to one of them, of course. Just needs to keep it up now, keep up that work rate. Right? Kolorov. Daniele De Rossi. El Sharawi. And here is Jacko. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. And now the shot! No problem for Samir and Danovic. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Florenzi. Roma given the advantage by the referee. And here's Clivert. Daniele De Rossi. Javier Pastore. And here is Jekyll. Chance to get the ball in the box. Cross that's fisted away by the keeper. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Oh, it's offside. Oh, well, as a striker, you expect to get the benefit there, but he didn't. It's the enforcer, if you like, who's coming off, the central midfield man. Yeah, a bit in the Claude Makaleli mould, this lad, the way that he keeps things simple, but his understanding of the game positionally is top class. Now, Clive. It. Here's an opportunity, maybe. They stopped him in the nick of time. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Good vision. I think the cross is on. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He would have been in the clear, but he's overhit the pass. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Antonio Candreva. He's tried his shot from... Well, he got the power from that range. That was pretty good, but not the accuracy. Yeah, if you try from that distance, you've got to do a better job than that. Costas Manolas. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Comes in with a tackle. Going forward well. Strokeman. Now the possibility for a cross. Trying to get the cross in. The nearest defender blocked it. Now Manolas. Now Strokeman. Florenzi. That's good support play from his teammates. He came on strong in that period of attacking play. 
But in the end, it was disappointing. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. It's opened up. And a goal for Inter. Well, disappointment for the losing team, but I'm afraid the winners deserve this margin, which has been confirmed by this very late goal. Yeah, it's been a, a walkover. You don't often get games like this at this particular level, but 